Welcome everyone to the next episode of Tiekon Win, uh, where we drink tea, not Tiekon Win this time again, and uh, dissect old application for uh, dread and limited uh, profits. So last time, uh, I've been running the author's migration. So we've been take we've been creating new uh, denormalized authors objects for uh, all detected authors, and it actually failed. And it felt with this interesting uh, traceback, which said, you know, can't get matching user profile on a place where that shouldn't happen. And the accep exception is caught, except during handling that exception, there was a Unicode encode error. What makes it interesting is that uh, this only happened on production and not locally. So while I could be more defensive and uh, catch this excep exception as well, and you would treat the author as undisplayable, um, this points to some problem. Uh, th this is a d some difference in configuration, and I'm not sure what it is. So I have opened um, two MySQL sessions uh, on the background to the local and production MySQL, and let's see what's dragon slide there. Um, definitely one difference is that on production it's uh, actually MySQL, whereas locally I'm using MariaDB, since I can't use MySQL that old. So this is server version, yeah, then the, uh, this doesn't even compare, uh, like, my version is 10 something, the um, uh, production is going to be 5 something. MariaDB uses a different uh, versioning scheme. Uh, so nothing nothing good is going to come out of that. Um, I have verified in production there is this command uh, called show collation, which means uh, which character sets and uh, rules for sorting strings are compiled into the server. Uh, the one I'm interested in is a uh, the one we we're using on the original database, which is the Latin two. And we should be using Latin checks. Yes, uh, my I'm not sure it's used everywhere. Um, my guess is that quite a few of the tables are going to use the Latin uh, tools general uh, CI. That should be good enough. It definitely shouldn't be those problems. And you can see that, you know, different IDs, uh, the check one not default, they have this different sort plan, which has some memory implications. doesn't matter. Uh, the second one is that we want to use with the new, um, newly created tables and schemas is the UTF check CI. So that's compiled in. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've, Let's just say that UTF uh, check CI is good enough for our case. Uh, there are reasons why you may use U U uh, UCC or UTF-16. Um, the main difference is that, or, or 32 for that matter, uh, the main difference is that actually UTF-8 uh, UTF doesn't have a fix fixed size of bytes per character, which makes um, searching in it slower. Uh, since you, it it requires some additional, um, uh, some some additional uh, harass like work, when uh, w when you want to start, for example, in the middle of a string because you don't know whether you're not in the middle of a character, which is not a problem with with uh, fixed byte and code inserts. Nevertheless. Um, it shouldn't do any of those. Uh, so let me actually check how my uh, settings look like. So locally, I'm explicitly providing char set Latin to in options. Let me see if that's uh, hard coded into production as well. It is, uh, not for this database, but that's not what we're interested in. 
when we are creating a new schema uh, as we did for uh, our DDC set authors, which is the table author, sorry, which is uh, where the traceback failed on anonymous user Nick, I think. Uh, let me see. Uh, well, so the query failed on get author. Well, my great authors. Uh, so it failed on line thirty three. So retrieval failed here with Nick being misencoded. And we have caught it, right, which is why it says during the handling of, of uh, above exception, I assume, uh, because we went to 70, wait, we went to 48. Yep, so we tried to create a new author object and we did it, also anonymous author, and we did it without misencoding the author's name since the creation.author should be uh, properly re-misencoded. <laughs> using our magic and uh, we're trying to store it in a column that is now storing everything correctly we are doing that using the latin to encoding um, because that's where the problem was And let's actually see what is the character out of curiosity. Oh, this is probably for Google. So Latin to count and code the double O quotation mark. But if it can't, um, why has it succeeded in the previous version? Well, it, because it was misencoded, so it mapped to some byte that's presumably in range. But why... Um, One option, I assume, uh, would be to try to encode it before I send it to the model. And um, add the option to ignore characters it can't encode. The other option would be to actually use UTF-8 for this um, table. But I'm not sure how that would work, work if you're using uh, the Latin to in connection. Oh. So right, where, where is um database configuration templates? Oh, I 
notes uh, on the introduction. Okay. So if connection is established, let's let into. Uh, what does it mean actually? Because since this is using well, the data almost certainly has to be encoded before set being set on the wire. Yeah, maps all the string between server and the current client with the name event mapping. So in theory, in theory, for more permissible results, I could use the ETF eight connection. But I think that the Django Well, I can see the magic uh, that can make it more permissible while still working with the misencoded data. But my I'm not sure how do I make it work with Django since that is you know, correctly trying to make everything consistent. So I think that I'm, and even more, I don't know how that would work with the old data. So I kind of hope yeah, I think that this is for after the migration, which reminds me um, that should also be part of that uh, new project that I created, uh, which would be uh, migrate all character and text fields to TF8 because that will bring us to uh, this doesn't require the other migration so it requires just old version to be shut down Because that should bring consistency and clarify almost everything. Uh, um, yeah, that will need to go through all alter schema and go through all the data, and it will be quite fun to do correctly. Uh, but all what I'm talking about is sorting out the issue. So like sorting out why it doesn't work. But it doesn't say why it happens. Uh, what is different on production as opposed to localhost? Because again, um, well, you can actually verify if I delete from authors locally, uh, also see that uh, we 
have migrated roughly half of the authors. Well, this is exactly why I'm working on this. Like, 1300 people wrote an approved article. That's pretty cool. Uh, 1300 people invested a few hours. Um, but if I will run the migration now, Right, it will not work because I have got the references. So that's why you should do that using the... Django objects, because now I have to clear it from all other tables. Uh, so uh, let me just see that the um, that I'm inferring the field name correctly. Uh, uh, yep. So Also of note, we ended up still with uh, some columns th without the reference. Which is because I'm modifying production. Let's see whether it will manage. Right, uh, first, uh, let me not. Ah. Let me remove the debug because it's annoying. This will need to happen on production as well. Um, so let me do it on both sides, I guess. In which case, this is what you want to do. So let's do it one by one. Article, come on, article, come on, article, come on, article. Gallery. Not even migrated.
production. Also, I have a feeling that I should check uh, that my backups still work uh, of database. Uh, gallery, photo gallery, common article skill. That needs checking. Uh, chemist tools. shortcut than I thought. Seems like actually in production it hasn't went beyond the common articles, it seems. I'm looking at it. There was a table called Donald Counter. What's N? Never mind. Yep. Uh, it was some bad cash. Okay. So. Neat. So now I should be able to run the migration locally. And and it now crashes local as well. Well, cool. Um, So it failed with some of my refactors. So given what is happening here, I propose a new management command as useful, which is uh, delete authors. Um, Eat all data from author table and associated references will be the will be forbidden to run on production at one point. Uh, but and the, the 
uh, until we migrate. Yeah, so so far and for the foreseeable future, whatever is in the outer uh, outer attribute is actually the normative data. So uh, this is essentially the normalization. So we can uh, treat it a bit more freely. And uh, the only thing Handle will do is the outer objects. I'll delete. That's all we need. Sure. Now I'm actually tempted to go to bisect. So bisect is this uh, git feature in which you say um, let's start uh, looking up uh, what's wrong there. Let's mark this revision as um, this is where it's not working. Let's go look up a history of uh, where is the first time this worked for us. And okay, this was a bit of an overreaction given how long is this command available? Was it here or only after? So here I assume, right? We go and check out the revision. Um, let's see whether I can migrate. I can and it seems to be working. Oh, but maybe the reason isn't actually that uh, I fucked up, but rather that I added the anonymous authors migration, which were ma which are maybe the only ones that contain the problem with the uh, like the problematic characters. Um, but let me show you the bisect. Uh, it's a good feature to know about. The only problem is going to be time. <laughs> uh, not what I wanted, but actually probably better for me to disconnect from production. Uh, right now. Oh, it's going smoothly. So, okay, so we know that 1343 is our count. So for bisect, uh, you mark this as a good addition. This is where it was. And uh, now it puts us in the middle of what's between good and bad. Uh, so let's study this again. Uh, of course, not always you will have the ability to uh, mark, uh, uh, the, to have the tooling that you have put yourself uh, for the new version. So uh, you kind of have to pull it out of the version control. There are some tricks to do that. And this one is already bad. So we mark it as bad. And uh, this is 
where it broke. So fix migration for anonymous others. This is the offending bit. Mm. Exactly, so... <sighs> Not really. Uh, so the branch... Oh, this is... Uh, I think that git bisect has something uh, like resets. Um, so reset should put us back. Yeah. Uh, I'm diverged. How? So apparently this works well. So let's push if we have something. Okay. Now. So now we know uh, that it really is proper encoding of the authors. And all I could do for the purpose of debugging is to try encoding it. Um, into Latin two. And see what, see what happens. Uh, and that's encode error. And I can, oh, uh, attempting skipping bad characters. And in that case, um, creation, creation, dot, oh, well. Or encoded would be creation author uh, and code Latin two and Um, Python three, Python three, string and code handling. There is something like errors ignore. Uh, ignore replace. Xamarin backslash replace. Uh, 
So just replace do. And why I'm not finding official documentation? Is it really in the codex? Okay, never mind. Therefore, it will unrestrict. Okay, correct base license. Signal. Replace with a suitable place marker. Oh, cool. Surrogate codes now. Okay, so let us try replace. So author's name replaced from CMS. and it's going to be creation dot to author encode it, and let's try whether if I put in bytes. No, I can't put in bytes string. I think so. Let's decode it back. Um. Well, Okay, um, let's see how this looks after decoding because um, this looks like a mess if you ask me. Let me actually kill it and delete authors and try this again. I potentially call it a little bit uh, at a bad place, so we may have uh, reference errors in the future. But this should give us the issue. Okay, so it's using uh, question marks. Uh, uh, why is it not using the normal quotation marks that are ASCII? Oh, because it's using replacement. Uh, right, I overestimated it. Okay, so this could be replace errors and links. Oh. So this is theoretically so level with a custom decoding codec. Um, if this is the only problem, then totally not feeling like it, and let's do ignore instead. I am also quite sure that this should be uppercase ash. But since it's two bad rows for the whole uh, database, yep. Oh, well, the SEO of the old site is not great, so it works with double W. How come? Good to know. But we have the link, and actually, this seems uh. Among other news, this seems like a backdoor. Public profile should look like this. 
And this is a user. But it doesn't, it's not matched with any article. So it actually seems like data source error. This should be fixed. So while the first one, uh, I would argue is, um, let's just skip on using those characters uh, because um, it's a technical problem that it can be used. In this case, I would argue let's fix it in the data. And I think that if I would search, so let's run the server, um, which means that I should uh, stop the Docker scan. in a nutshell. But this should be fixable using admin both here and on production. So uh, can I run the server now? I go to admin. And my guess is it's here, but I don't know actually, so. It's not. Mm -hmm. So this needs search and I'm looking without the special characters just to make sure this is not affected by collation. Um, Uh, no, it's not. This is not the correct one. Else it looks I may be missing some admins. No. Um, and this this needs a proper admin. Okay, so. Um, Am I passing, what is this getting from? Yes, so. Um, this is for creation. Uh, main page. Is creation and creation dot is it creative page? Let's see. Um, nah, this is not there by default. Uh, Is it? No, it's not. Uh, an easy way to find this or distinct between them. Uh, hmm. 
No truly. <laughs> Fun. Well, um, we random cross question models attempt for progression model. Uh, so f just for debugging reasons, which kind of sucks, uh, but. Model is question model. And so let's run this again. And in this case, uh, I should have it without the qu question mark. It should be good. Yep, it changes the meaning slightly, um, but I think that's a decade later, people would survive. So this is from Cone article. And the next one is drum roll. More drum roll. Uh, let me actually make a short break for myself while this runs.
All right, we'll come back. So, yeah, Ash properly replaced, and this is download actually. So this is why nobody noticed because uh, I think the downloads are not counted uh, in the original on the original site. Um, and I don't have uh, admin for downloads, I think. And the reason for that was that um, the upload field handling. And what would happen if someone would actually change the uh, download fields? thinking. <laughs> uh, I would say that make that a ticket and sort it out together with the uh, admin for downloads. Uh, let's just take a look. Uh, so since I can dump all of it and we know the creation the creation name yep someone made a typo it's wrong even only in the original site you can see that the author and uh, the comment of the author is actually working well. So yeah, let's replace it and put it, um, put it on the side. So now the migration should be in order. So let's put an issue there. Uh, issue fix encoding. And code download item author and uh, item is this guy, which is happen during migration so we know um, ah. why has this overridden my mice uh, mouse clipboard and um, by actual user probably so ma uh, manually change authors type and reference and um, how it says is kind of part of the migration it's another data quality issue and Milestone is very non critical. All right. So this should be fixed for production as well. I'm thinking whether to commit the powerful delete authors 
since uh, this is potentially very destructive, but uh, not unrecoverable. Non, un, not unrecoverable. Recoverable. Uh, so let me do that. Uh, so that's management commands. Yep. Uh, fix. During authors migration, that was forty two, right? Yep. Time to push. And send the pull request. Uh, I would say that this needs rebase, uh, but okay. Because I think that I merged those, no, maybe not. Uh, totally. <laughs> uh, so sin since in there, let me also make it consistent that this is fixed for authors. Also, half froze and uh, the new USB, new USB C sticks are finally out, um, which should absolve me of some of those issues. Also, I'm trying to get a new computer uh, for this development, but um, it seems like all new processors and graphic cards are just unavailable. Uh, so it was like wow. All right. for all of those stops. I would hope we are also past this. Well, testing tools I believe open. It never hurts. This is from the migration and now we're waiting for the test. And I have made a typo. So since we haven't committed it, uh, let me push it. You may have n users of VI may have noticed why I did that. Uh, let me have tea with it. Since this is kind of important database migration, I would actually wait for it to play out. Uh, so meanwhile, I can continue with the same procrastination method I've used uh, yesterday, which is let's be working on this model uh, fixture. We have anonymous author, we have a common article. I mean, since I have this here, let me see what's in the database. 
And um, the name I think is actually no. This will also not work with um, with the actual database restored from production, but it doesn't matter, I think. Uh, this is for people playing and seeding. Um, so what I want is... Uh, One article is supposed to something else. Which should be here explicitly. Uh, and let me copy by string one of the Oops, now this needs research on how to actually call it. And let's run with this. Hmm. Like the, the problem with uh, the votings being uh, zero, I think was that um, that would put new articles as uh, unrecognizable for from articles voted as shit, um, s which is solved uh, by the fact that when approving the article, it's mandatory for the editor to provide their own voting. Mm. And uh, their own voting is actually weighted. Uh, it's three times as much as normal votes. Uh, so that creates issues. Uh, so let us merge. Uh, that, that actually creates some issues in terms of uh, why I cannot Uh, it's not possible to recreate the voting aggregates because of this uh, weight, weighted voting. Uh, so we need to treat that guy carefully, and uh, it's not it's not recoverable from the box and co uh, codes on voting. Uh, so, you know, do not run your elections on top of that. Um, nevertheless, uh, this should solve us that issue. And when I look at time, I think that I may want to go on to the next one as well. So, others without corresponding users... should be now handled properly. They are the anonymous users. Um, what we haven't done and want to do is that when I look at creations, they all should know the detail page they live on. And 
wouldn't be able to link to that and that in the current URI structure is impossible without them knowing on what creative page they are. Because if you look here uh, on production, once uh, Heroku starts, when I click on detail, is in the appropriate creative page, which I would argue is correct. Uh, also, you can see that my copy pasting uh, broke at places. Uh, but let's a lot of places, but let's see uh, whether I have fixed uh, Migration, but also let me check it in those templates. Uh, is it really going to be on all details again? After display article, this looks cool. So it was common article detail. Yeah. For fuck's sake. Uh, okay. How how come it's not template tag error? Okay, so let's double check everything. Uh, but it was not everywhere. It was the particular. Yep, it was just that it was common article, so it's on a lot of places. Well, that's why we have continuous delivery. We can roll forward. Let's go. Yes. Articles. Uh, right, I have been rebasing without pushing. So that's a pull request. That should be entered by GitHub, no. Yes, exactly this one. Um, and meanwhile, let's the, uh, run the production migration. So migrate authors, uh, but not locally. Uh, migrate authors on Heroku. And have fingers crossed. So we have still more warnings than locally, let's say. But you know, warnings, not errors. Uh, so let me just be pasting it here. In 
incorrect string value. What is it? Is it like bad encoding or like incorrectly don't like it? This wasn't there locally. But uh, since this is for anonymous users, I mean, un unless it's uh, unintentional mismatch with author, This should work fine. Meanwhile, we have this and it will still take a while, so it shouldn't disrupt. And also, uh, how come it's I'm thinking whether the merge, let's try, whether the merge commit will be created even if I haven't diverged. Yes. Why? Well, in that, uh, in that case, really rebase. base. The problem is that the rebase is Creating uh, an actual rebase, changing the commits, and forcing me to rebase on the base branch. Um, I, I have a feeling this worked better before. Nevertheless. Let's wait for this. And yeah, uh, Heroku, uh, Hir Heroku, uh, Dinos are actually quite limited. Uh, so it's no surprise it runs uh, more often than locally because it, they have like half a gig of RAM, maybe even less. I think it's maybe 256 Mac for the free plan. Um, and the computer is shared, so given this computer has what? Uh, yeah, 15 gigs, 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, that probably makes a difference. This looks like a anonymous users with two characters. But me moving on, that's always a good sign. I hope I haven't um, overestimated this interaction and that, new, that the new deploy will not delete, like in interrupt the migration. That will be easy to verify. Um, also, like, if we have a byte string, uh, no, byte string of those values. Uh, and we try to decode them from Latin to. Uh huh. I don't see a reason why this would be an interesting collect character. Is it that someone accidentally did double escaping? So we have reached the first replacement. Okay, this will take a while. <laughs> Yeah, 
anything complaints about those characters. I mean, let's see whether it's going to be correctly displayed. Um, yeah. I mean, we've been there. Let's take a look at production. Uh, well, from all of this, I don't need this window anymore. Yes, I'm sure. Uh, so, this was in a little bit of. Um, well, let's look it up on Google. And this ID. Okay, so we're getting this replaced with question mark for no reason whatsoever. And also what's suspicious is that According to even the old data, nobody voted. Which is weird. That also sounds more like data error. Isn't it from a site? This is true story of working with uh, legacy systems. Half of the work is dealing with legacy data, or like data errors. Also note that all of the data errors are for anonymous NICs. So w which makes me wonder whether it's uh, that editors wrote random fields, or whether there was a encoding error from the admin, uh, or whether it is that uh, there is a more serious problem with the lookups and encoded lookups, 
and uh, we are deassociating articles from others. But so far it's manageable amount of issues. I would also love to, if this would be an exception, you could actually catch it. Um, but it's not the case. Well, in which, let's try to figure out how to do URLs. Uh, so on creation level, This is a reverse lookup problem, uh, except for there is no database, there is no actual database relation. It's, an, uh, it's a meta model slash model relation, not data relation. And Like all instances of that model uh, would link to a uh, basically singleton from the page. So One way to do this, um, so in general, as a creation. How can I know where I am? This is decided based on the model and special case for common articles in addition. So this can be generalized. Um, so in here, so get URL and it's, um, what's the name? Uh, not normative URL, uh, but, Canonical URL. So, canonical URL that like RSS is, go is going to refer to and whatnot. And real race not implemented. Error if a subclass doesn't uh, implement it. Um, we implement it on the model itself. Um, bug discovery. of there and for everything the else than common article and again uh, it would always probably be useful to do a class in between but we're on a model level um, which is also a problem I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking whether 
to allow the create whether it makes sense to allow the creations to be so standalone and whether it's just not bound to be always worked together in a pair with creative page. And whether or not ask um Yeah, whether or not have like creative page uh get model URL. I'm trying to think of cases where we would need this. Um I mean news come to mind obviously. I think it doesn't make sense actually. Because it would only be useful if creation would be a full fledged object and we would we could query all creations through that interface. But we can't. It's an abstract model. Uh like we can't say give me all creations since it's spread across multiple tables with no relation whatsoever. So that would uh require schema changes that we can't do with the old version up and even after I'm not sure it makes sense. So let's actually write it down into the docs uh, and treat it as a decision because that will make interface slightly Better. Uh, exclamation is pages, pages, and extension pages. Okay. Um, so, model design. Done. So all creations uh, have a creation. It doesn't provide unified interface uh, since because of legacy um, with the base design, there are no relations captured. Um, hence, the creation instances of all subclasses are not treated as entirely standalone. Um, as we can't do creation unified queries. Anyway, for all practical purposes, creations has to be treated as a creation page uh, wait, double tick service this will not work. Double back ticks I mean. Creation page, uh, creation pair. Meaning, like 
two pages guy now. I maybe should have had redirected that to yeah, file. So um, migration working trace back. Let me be an optimist. Um, Since we have that, uh, let's not put the URL onto creation. Uh, but put it on the creative page. Generalized creative page sections, but I don't think that I have put in any data. Prove me wrong. This is a import creative page section. Okay. Well, typo, right? And creative page section uh, objects count. Hmm. To do not populated it. <laughs> and um, Not used and under scrutiny. This is only used for, for filters and admin. Okay. I'd like afterwards. That was, I remember it was done for speed up reasons. Ha ha ha. Um, anyhow. It's similar to the editor, so let's not go there yet. So for creative page, and that's for instance, uh, so get creation canonical URL. It's going to be an instance methods and you'll get a creation to help and now will come a slight problem because creative page doesn't know its own you name does it because we're seeing your creative page and then there's common article And this is for common article only. No, it isn't. Uh, since, for example, skills are there. But not downloads and quests. Which brings a question why? <sighs> it 
Because he could. Quantify that. Uh, yes, it had a. I mean, has it even had a different URL format back on the site? I doubt so, because everything is index.php slash. Yeah. Name of the creative page section. So. Question is whether this shouldn't be migrated. To use the creation concepts and the only difference would be that in detail the link would be different. But it can be handled on the template level. You know, special case as it is here. And that was that would go give us a single unified schema. And I say, let's do it. Not today. But that is a refactor worth doing. Because otherwise, it means that uh, all we need to do is to return the reverse of TDCZ common article detail. which is to be renamed. And the arguments would be uh, creative page slug is self dot slack and article ID, which should be called creation ID, is creation the primary key and article slack creation dot slug if I have created one or is it get slug ah. I haven't put in a get slug because I have been expecting to create a method for that. Okay. Uh, I mean, um, it is database or dude. So this is theoretically all that's needed. And 
notes for purpose of testing. Um, let's just return not working. Art, uh, no, uh, like um, refer to the same page, so we get around the downloads and quests for now. And in that case, um, we will need a template stack. It will be page dictionary dot page and creation. And that's uh, template stack. Wait, no, 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 not a module, not a module. Great. Uh, it's not a new package, it's, it will be in creation. So just wait for this to kick in. Mm. Meanwhile, let's just take a look at um, production and see whether, for example, in here, we are able to see the authors uh, list, so this looks good. And in here, like this. is going to be a uh, I mean I'm going to just return URL so Simple tag, I guess, and let me verify whether I can just return string. Yep. Uh, so I will get uh, page and creation. And I will return page dot get uh, creation canonical URL creation. And this on localhost. If I start a server. I run the migration for localhost. Not sure if actually. Um, so I may need to be waiting for a bit. But this should 
Give links to everything except downloads and quests. And uh, that would be for the next time. So let me write it down here. Um, migrate downloads and quests to use the unified creation views and URLs and links. Um, and rename the URL buttons appropriately. Common article to creation. Okay, so something is fucked up on localhost it seems, let me start the server. Different IDs for some reason, oh for a good reason. Uh, because this was the migration that doesn't accounted for anonymous authors, uh, so it ran differently. Uh, nevertheless, this seems to be working. Coolio. So we are here. Um, This is good enough. Yeah, so need others. Click off uh, creation links. That's forty two. And also actually, uh, also actually, let's migrate uh, also lists to use canonical links potentially. Let me write it here. Uh, so um, consider using. Uh, All right, so that's it for today. Uh, also, let me verify this is fixed. Yep, so we now have <laughs> uh, we now have proper links and a list of articles. Uh, we have migrated authors on production, including the data collector errors. And we have kicked off um, backlinks, which will also be useful down the road when creating uh, stuff like RSS. So thank you and see you soon. Bye.